Well, I'm Irene Sanderson. I'm here in the green grass and new leaves of the Eden Valley. We think we'll be a long way away from the troubles of the world. Well, we're not so far. I can hear a ticking in the distance and it's called the Doomsday Clock, set up by the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists to warn us about the uh, 90 seconds we have before we manage to end the world with our so-called advanced technologies. There's a great danger, isn't there? Even as we talk, there's this conflict in the Ukraine surrounding the uh, largest nuclear plant in Europe threatening us there. But that's a long way away. You didn't think that would trouble us here in Cumbria. But as I talk, they're gearing up to trundle nuclear warheads past our front door on their way to Glasgow to rearm the nuclear submarines, sinking 205 billion pounds into our so-called nuclear deterrent, money that could be spent on jobs for you, me, and hospitals and schools that we so desperately need. However, that's, uh, again, perhaps a bigger issue that we can cope with but I do try being a member of the campaign for nuclear disarmament and that's how I came to be involved with XR Peace and XR Extinction Rebellion. We're working together to try and create a dialogue and cooperation to improve the world and, and not to let the money sink into the endless nuclear troughs and uh, climate deniers such as Mark Jenkinson, our future proposed candidate for this area. We have over the horizon here, 40 miles away, two rather large problems that keep on cropping up. A cellar field tackling nuclear decommissioning as the waste piles up. And we are urged to sink our uh, energy requirements into pocket nuclear reactors. But we never consider what happens to the waste or sign now for trying to stop the government raising the level of radioactive waste that can be dumped on our coasts here at Cumbria. And uh, the other thing is the coal mine. We're going to open a coal mine, which seems a very uh, archaic thing to do, but highly lauded by uh, Mark Jenkins and the local MP. But here in Carlisle, nearby Carlisle, we, we've got an, a grant system going for solar panels and wind power to heat our homes, insulate. These are the measures we need so that we're not um, letting the greed of uh, individuals and companies such as West Cumbria Mining to take all our money and, well, the profits they glean from our local resources, sink them into the Cayman Islands. Well, uh, that's about it, I think, for today. And so uh, we have uh, this, these niggling worries and this ticking mm. of the doomsday clock even here in our beautiful valleys. Well, thank you very yeah. much from Starsky. I much we do appreciate everything you've done for us and what you're doing in the future. Thank <laughs> you.